Hello and welcome to uh, to welcome to Uncommon Gaming. And I am attaching myself right now to the All Invitational. We're casting uh, Qualifier Stage Group B. Uh, first two games uh, were done on stream, and for those who missed it, we're going to start now and uh, and do some recording because I wasn't clever enough to remember. Um, so what we test <laughs> test right. Uh, what we did see so far is Atheros versus Lenny and Lumia versus Shazampoof. Um, so now we're going to go into... Uh, who do you want to see again? Do you want to see uh, Lumia me? or Shazampoof? Yeah. Shazam. I gotta, gotta go with my Zerg and my boy. Alright, so we're going to go into uh, Shazampoof versus Lennygasm. Um, this is a, there's a lot of, of Zerg in this group, so this is going to be another ZVZ. And for those who are watching in the video, the first ZVZ. So let me make sure I'm getting the right... Order in this in these games. Good and watch with watch with you. So joining me today is uh, is Goner. Goner, say hello. Hello. That's Goner. He's a it's good me. person. <laughs> um, and we're here today to bring you some fantastic games. Part of the All Invitational, part of All In's uh, Clan Only League. I have the pleasure of, of casting this with some with actually an audience. You guys love. Love your StarCraft, and I love having you here. Um, even got my first cheer from Ribeye today, so I'm I'm in a really good mood. So what I'm going to do is hit the watch button, and then I'm going to like rush away because I realized I, I wanted to refill my drink. So I'm going to hit play. Uh, oh I'm going to switch it over. Don't cast until I get back. This will be like, I'm, I'm getting in position. This is going to be record like 10 seconds. Here we go. I'm going to talk so bad about you while you're gone. How about that load screen, folks? Hmm. The map here is uh, Backwater. I'm not supposed to cast, but I want to introduce them, but I'm not going to. And button. Ladies and gentlemen, spawning in the top left-hand corner, it's our boy in green, the Zerg, Shazam Poof. Uh, am I purple? Yeah, I got yeah, purple? you're up, you're up. Okay. Uh, Spawning in the bottom right hand corner. You know him, you love him. It's the absurd Zerg, Lenny Gasm. Oh man, this is the best of three. This is the first match in the qualifier stage of the All Invitational, and it is our second ZVZ. This, uh, this group is three Zerg, one Terran. And what we're seeing right now is nothing fast uh looks like they're both going up to 17 and looks like they're both looking to expand into their natural mm. so are you, you clapping no 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 you're not clapping no i wasn't there's no clapping going on in your house there was literally no clapping <laughs> all right then um <laughs> all right hatch hatch gas pool down here from linegasm uh near identical builds up here from shazam there go the spawning pools. Spawning pool one, spawning pool two. So relatively safe builds, uh, relatively uh, economic builds. Good, good quality stuff. Um, oh, I guess uh, Shazam Poof was watching, and he was watching a game he knew that he was going to lose. So that can't be a, a fun thing to do. Um, by the way, if you're catching this on on video on YouTube, thanks for watching. And come check it out on Uncommon underscore Gaming at Twitch TV. Uh, there's going to be plenty more of these as I try to work through all the group stages so everybody gets a shot at this uh, this cast. If you can see here in the middle of my screen, CTL Season 13, because I haven't changed my image and I don't know how anymore. So, Goddard, what do you think of this game? Well, let me tell you. Please do. Um, you know, it's... Fairly conventional, I feel like. Nobody's doing anything super outlandish, I think. Um, Lettingasm has a slightly better scout, but not not really anything super big to think about there. Uh, let's see here, we got uh, Lettingasm on the six Zerglings, and Shazam hasn't got any, but he's going for that early... Uh, metabolic boost. See, I think what, what you missed here. Um, Zergling's moving across the map right now. Uh, and you I say metabolic move. Are you saying Lenny doesn't have it yet? Am I missing? No. Wait, does he not? I don't think Lenny has it. 
No. Am I, did I miss it? Yeah, yeah he, he doesn't. He started uh, metabolic. Now, it's a big one. That's what's known as Ling Speed. Um, it's essential, and if you have it, you will win fights Ling on Ling. If you don't have it, you will lose. Uh, yeah. But if he... Like, he doesn't have it, so he's saving his gas for... Bane Link's... He Bane finishes Link's. Bane Link Nest a little earlier. Um, the me Metabolic Boost is about to finish. But it doesn't look like Shazam is committing to too many more no. links here. So he's out no. there. These are safety links. A um, little poke over here, two links from Lenny Gas. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. And he knows he's got these. There's, there's the speed. And this is what I mean by speed. Yeah. And, and it's not just that they go faster. They get the surrounds quicker. They initiate the fights more often. Um, they initiate the first hit. Now, first hit's a big deal. Now, I'm still seeing no speed over here from Lenny. So he's got a plan. This gas he's saving up, is he just saving it up for... Uh, I feel like he's not just saving it up for Bane, so maybe we might see a heavy tech path. Um, so, you've been playing a little bit of Zerg, right? Yep. You played a little bit of Zerg and Banelings? Uh, yeah, Banelings are my favorite. What do you like about Banelings? Um, I just like them because... I like what just happened there. Holy hell, that connection. Oh, I... I, what he's doing, <laughs> you just run them into things and they go kaboom. Um. Oh, looks like he's got a couple more banlings here. You're gonna come around. So you were saying something you like about banlings? <laughs> I like him because you just run him into things and uh, like that, just kaboom. Don't have to like super super macro or micro, excuse me. I also like them too because they come off of zerglings, which means you can get them across the map quickly, morph them like somewhere just kind of hidden. And then you just roll them in there behind the new banelings that you just spawned. It's efficient. I like it. Uh, he's got a couple more banelings morphing here. He's really adding all yeah. the pressure. He's got the worker advantage. He's got the army advantage. Um, let's see how much the defender advantage helps as he throws banelings. He has so many banelings, yeah. he's throwing them against queens. Um, he's got a good surround. Yeah. His queens are probably gone. Queens are gone, gone. yeah. yeah. So I think, yeah, that's GG. I was going to say, I, he's at least going to lose the second, but I guess he just takes the whole game. I, f I feel like I need, like, a good, like, GG, like, exclamation, like a G, like, but they, like, every time I go to do it, there's these popular casters, Tasteless and Artosis, and they have almost trademark the GG, but there's got to be a, an exciting way to do it without feeling like a copycat. Have you ever watched uh, soccer from anywhere Hispanic? No. What do they do? Uh, anytime there's a goal, they scream goal for about 30 seconds. So maybe if you get something on that trend, like, G, G, and you just hold so it. So just like, G, G. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I could probably go a little longer, but I won't. <laughs> We're going to watch game two. This one's on Acid Plant um, as Lenny Gasm. Hopes to come back. Hopes to do a 2 0 -oh here. Um, now, as I understand it, Lenny Gasm is a more aggressive player, uh, so we might see some of that. Although Shazam Poof um, is potentially just the stronger player. Um, we can see he's. Uh, oh, let me call. Let me, yep, you, you got it? let me introduce Shazam. All right. In the top left corner, sporting that Kelly Green. It's the kid himself. Men want to be him and girls want to be with him. Shazam Poof. I love it. <laughs> I got a huge smile. I right, see if I can top it. In the bottom right hand corner, the gentleman, the man, the guy we're rooting for to take this all the way. He wants to 2 0 his opponent in a reverse all kill in the best of three. Looks like he's going to rush. It's going to be a great time in the purple desert from all in. Lenny Gasm. And you were right. Lenny going with the 12, was it 12 or 13 on the start in that pool? Yep, looks like a 12, uh, maybe a 12, 12, 12, 13, 13, 13. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but definitely more of a rush strat coming through here. Shazam looking like he's going to take things a little bit more conservatively, a little bit more meta, question mark? Except he did take yeah. one at a 17. Yeah, so maybe 17, a... 17 hatch. You should see a gas in a pool come from soon, but every moment he yeah. hesitates is dangerous. So there's the there's the gas a little slow His on the gas. Or... He's going to get the spawning pool. Right now. Right now. A yeah, couple, couple seconds late. Um whether or not that matters, we do see metabolic boost or speed. Uh, speed down. It's going to be speed links. It's going to be 
Ascension and all. And one of the questions I have, and I don't, yeah. I don't play enough Zorg is, will I see a queen? I like the queen. I like to put a queen in. Yeah, he's taking yeah. some off gas. He's got the the bailing. It, it's it's aggression. So, talk me through this aggression. Um, I think it's good aggression. I think next, while he's still pumping out banelings, I think he's going to want to try and maybe boost his economy. I think going to a second before initiating the full rush might be good. Again, bronze, so I don't know if I'm allowed to have an opinion. But I think maybe going to a second and trying to keep the economy up so that once your attack gets, you know, it gets what it's supposed to get, but obviously, or not obviously, but... Uh, sometimes your lings die in the other end of the uh, blah, 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 yeah, yeah, enemy <laughs> in the enemy base, and then um, you need to have the economy to replenish that once it goes down. I guess is what I was getting at. I think Shazam here be good to. He probably has queens on the way. Yeah, he has a queen on the way. The queen on the way. Uh, get the queens. Get the injections in. I think he'll be able to hold it off decently, especially. If he um, can get a couple banelings early. It does look like he's getting his banelings morphed in. It's going to even out the fight. We do have the spine crawler moving down to the natural. It looks like he's going to try to save this rather than back it up and playing the defensive. Uh, it's really going to depend on, on these baneling hits and how good they how good they are. Um, yeah. I'd, I'd say this spine crawler is, is perfect placement. Uh, if we get this queen down this ramp, it's going to go a long way. Uh, yep, no, good, good, good. Queen's gonna get a couple hits on one of these banelings, and if he can spread his workers out and get them to explode well enough. There's one Ooh, baneling down. Good picks off one, and the other one barely connects. Did it take one or two with it? No, it took nothing. It takes uh, two banelings to kill a worker, so he's able to get the one, uh, keep most of his line intact, and he's gonna start to build a lead here. It looks like the pressure is going to stop. He's gonna expand and try to recover from this game, but he is yeah. super far behind. Um, Yes, income. Yep. Er, no. He's in a he's in a really good position. It looks like he is building some more safety lings. Um, but behind this, so is the Linigasm as he's continuing. He he expanded, but that might just be for larva. Um, as he's morphing a couple yeah. more banelings out of sight. He went the long way around not to be seen, but yep. the overlord's right there, so not to be intercepted, yeah. I guess, by a counter. Yeah, and both of them have the metabolic point, so they do. Yeah, so Lenny isn't going to get the full advantage from that anymore like he did in that first initial trade that Shazam was able to hold off. He's going to pull a little back to deal with uh, reinforcements. Now, this is a great technique here if you don't know it. Uh, you morph your banelings as or you morph your banelings as your zerglings run. It gives this line, this line of banelings, so that when they move in, they're one behind the other, which is a very effective way of morphing in your banelings. Now, he's trying to kill the banelings before they finish morphing. Right, uh, right. But it's a dangerous prospect because if you didn't see a morph, you don't know when they're going to pop out. Um, Ooh, uh, nice G connection. Oh, GG. G. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Hey, looks like Shazam 2 owed his uh, his fight versus Lenny. So I'm going to go and write, make sure we don't recast things. Um, that gives him one win, one loss for the group. And he needs one more. He should need about one more to, to knock himself out. Now, it is round robin, so it, it's kind of hard to tell sometimes. Um, which means the other matchup we have we haven't seen yet is going to be uh, uh, Lumia and Atheros. So let's, okay, let's Atheros. go that one. Atheros was the other one you didn't see. Um, yeah. I just want to get watched with others. And this one is a uh, TBZ. So uh, Lumia, you just watched his match. And, yeah. Uh, well, let's take a look. Let's, let's actually just jump right into this game. Sounds good. As I think someone told me, there's like hours of footage here, so let's not delay. Oh gosh, there's not. I mean, you you showed up. We were done like three games out of six. I think it's six, but oh yeah. All right, and let me get the that and that and spawning in the bottom right hand corner, the purple Zerg, Lumia. All right, and spawning in the top left corner, representing all in. The decadent orange Athreos uh, butchered the name. All right, we have a SCV coming across the map. We have a second SCV coming across the map. You know what this oh, means. Talk I know me what this it. is. Talk me through it. We All saw right. it already. There's no gas, so this is going to be just your straight-up uh, marine rush is what it's called. 
Uh, yeah, so you're going to build three barracks here up next to their base, and then you're just going to kind of marine rush in there. Um, I don't think Athros has an idea that this is happening yet. He's expanding to a second, which unfortunately is going to be closer to where the marine rush is going to come from. Um, he also has no over overlords kind of headed out to that direction of the map to scout this out. Um, and it looks like he's going for a fairly safe opening, which might punish him. Um, I don't think he even, just now, yep, yeah, just now he started his spawning pool. So he might be a little bit behind, especially for the uh, marine rush that's coming in shortly here. So we saw this last time. He's, if he follows the same exact strat we saw in our last game uh, against his Ampoof, he's going to put a couple bunkers down here. He's going to try to hold that pressure. Um Wait, was that Shazam Poof? That was Shazam Poof. Uh, yes. Um, but Shazam Poof did a really good job of holding that off. Uh, and he did that by keeping his natural life barely, pushing back his opponent, uh, kind of scaring him into backing up so he didn't have constant fire on the natural, which gave it some extended life. Uh, kept production of his uh, Zerglings constant and, and sacrificed them well, because uh, it's going to be a sacrifice. Um, here they here, come. Here they come. Let's see how fast he responds. He's going to get. A bunker in. Should get Second bunker. In. bunker. Yep. I thought he started it, but I don't see it. Nope. There it is. Nope. Okay, he's he, holding off on the second bunker. He's trying to find room now. As the creep goes, his his options for getting. He, I would love to get a bunker in where he could hit this hatchery, but it looks like he's yeah. he's fine. He's he's not going to do is, that. Is the cancel going to come through? Because I don't think he has any no, real response at this point. No, you can't cancel the natural. You just can't have cancel. to either sacrifice it or, or not. Oh, I guess it's already built. Sorry, yeah. He's going a Roach Warren. It looks like he wants to respond with uh, one tech level up. And that may work. It just might not be... Um, it's got to come quick. And it's got to come in good numbers. Yeah. And he's really got to start saving his money. This queen, unfortunately, is going to go down. Yeah. And it's going to continue to focus his natural, which is really going to limit his options here. Um, with Larva. Right. What do you do? At this point, wouldn't you? I think you'd be better off as the Marines here to finish off those larvae. The the base itself isn't really going to do much. At that point, you can finish off those larvae so you don't have anything spawning behind you, mm -hmm. and you just kind of push on to the the main, right? I you know you might, and it depends on on how comfortable he is walking up this ramp and facing whatever's waiting up there. Uh, we That's don't true. have any spines. We have a couple things that are going to come from behind here. Yeah. Um, from the, from that larva and from those eggs. Uh, this one might cause some trouble here from the SCVs. Might cause the Marines to pull back down the ramp. Um, looks like he's just going to hide. Uh, more Marines coming here to the rescue. Yeah. Um, roaches um, coming out, though. Four roaches. Link speed's done. He's just yeah, been amassing yeah. an army up here to answer this permanently. He's trying to come up with a permanent answer. Right. But still no gas from Lumia. He's still all in. Um, how do you At feel this point, this response? Um, I like it. I think I think the injections are necessary. I think if he could have saved that second queen that got caught on the uh, bridge, I think he could have put it to use kind of spreading the creep spread up here because mm. obviously the this bridge was a bridge. What's it? Um, what is that called? The the bridge thing. The, the I know ramp. there's a technical the ramp. Yeah, I think if the the creep can make it to the ramp. I think that's going to give him a lot more um, fighting power to defend his base with. Now, this was about his maximum. Uh, good timing here uh, from Atheros. He didn't let that uh, other bunker finish. He's, he's cut off them from the ramp to the bunker. Uh, it's really just a game of roaches. He, it looks like he even hid the roaches for a while. He was running them immediately up here by the roach horn, trying right, to keep right. their existence a secret. Um and these roaches may or may not seal the deal. I know Marines aren't very good against against the roaches, and so the more he gets out, the more difficult this is going to be to deal with. Um, yeah. But he looks like Atheros, or sorry, uh, Lumia is sticking with this plan. He is not transitioning out. He's not trying to, to macro. Um, some good stutter step micro there. He's. It might be a, it's a numbers game. If he can toy with these bunkers well enough, uh, they have extended I, range. I think at this point, too, yeah, the Zerglings that are coming out, drop four, maybe four of them into Banelings and try and roll them into the bunkers. Okay. I can see that. He's, um, he doesn't have the, the bunker, uh, the Banelings, nest, but it's something he can invest in. Yeah. Uh, it looks like roaches may be enough here as they're just yeah, going to town. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think, I don't think Lumia has another response here. Uh, I'd love for him to prove me wrong and teach me a little something about Terran, 
as he moves to the next bunker, which is already on fire. Um, but he is losing a significant number of roaches, and this might be an attrition game. Oh. No, here's four more on the way. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, you have to outnumber yeah. the roaches. Um, and he backs Ooh. up a bit. He's got oh, some. Shit. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna figure out why I'm jumping around like that. Yeah. Yep. And there is <laughs> oh, there UG is. from. Uh... Huh. Wait, Afros? <laughs> what? <laughs> Um, yeah, no, it looks like Athro saw the, the four. He, he decided he didn't have it. Huh. What? Hey, do a minor okay. question. I, I, yeah. I, he I'm, like bro I'm it. bronze. You do you. No, no, you're, you're right. <laughs> I, I, I was a little surprised too. I saw the GG and I had to double check like, wait a minute. No, I mean, he pushed yeah. back the rush. He just, it didn't look like he felt he had enough to finish it, but. I mean, I thought he was, I thought he was in prime position to get ahead in supply and economy um, I, I would have loved to seen it play out a little longer i mean the result yeah. might have still been the same yeah mm. okay so we're going back to black pink okay black pink uh very nice map with some purples um and some and some minerals <laughs> and um, oh is this is this the one with the kit the little kitties and the thing the kittens. No, the no, cat I don't think people? this one. I don't think this one is the the cat people. Ah, uh, it's we're, not. We're about to find out because spawning in the top right hand corner in the purple, hoping to. Oh wait, uh, we can Lumia. Nope, best of three, and Lumia's got one. Hoping to close this out with one more game, purple Terran, Lumia. <laughs> spawning in the bottom left hand corner is. Decadent Orange, Aethrios, also possibly the founder of the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Really? Was that a true yeah. fact I didn't know? No, I, you know, I meant to, I meant to deliver that. Kind of slipped out wrong, so let's brush <laughs> over that and look at this beautiful start. Yeah, wow. It didn't, it didn't happen. I'd like to thank you again for, for, for joining me on this. Uh, God, I know I put you on the spot a lot, and we're, we're still, you're still learning this game, but it's really a pleasure having you here. I'm just doing my best. Um, let me uh, take a look here. We do have a natural. Looks like uh, two pretty standard openings. We're gonna have a game that goes longer than maybe 12 minutes. Yeah. Um, let me go ahead and I need to check a stream real quick. Yep. And yep. So A3 us went with the 17, 17, 17 expansion. Um, <laughs> Pool, nest, and extractor or gas. That's right. You were just walking uh, through this build, weren't you? Yeah, or excuse me, hatchery. Hatchery, pool, hatch, gas, gas. And pool. Hatch, gas, hatch, gas, pool. Yep. Um, and we have, a, we have the reaper coming standard. out. Yep. Yep. Normal, no more gas here. This next building he makes, uh, there he's expanded. Yep. So for those who are listening, um, I'm I am actually being joined here by a good friend of mine, uh, Garner. If you if you want to try to push in the put in an application to all in, now is the perfect time to do it. Uh, I think he's almost there. He's almost convinced. You guys just you know show him some love. Uh, he's also got a a Twitch stream, which I would I would really appreciate it if you you know checked out. Go say hi as he stumbles around uh, the bronze world. <laughs> yes. Um, so. We got. Um... We do have another barracks. So this looks like his uh, two one one build. He's gonna pull in about 14, uh, 14 marines and one mine. Uh... He's gonna come across the map and try to take out the third. Uh, we'll see if he learned from his last game and which which base he he takes a look at. I wouldn't say he learned because I guess you could take either third as a zerg. Although I am definitely more comfortable uh, with this location here. It's a it's a closer walk, easier to creep to, uh, but it is yeah. closer to the enemy. And it has more avenues to attack. So we'll see uh, where the Zerg decides to expand if he just expands anytime soon. There's the first set of Lings, the Reaper's yeah. doing some poking. I think uh, I think he might be committing to like a half Zergling rush. I don't know. He went, he's at 18 Zerglings right now, which is, you know, a fair amount if you're not going to rush him. Um, you say how many? He's at 18. Or 20, excuse me, now. Oh, yeah, 20 Zerglings. Yeah, there it is. He's, uh, yeah. I mean, he's either preparing for defense or he's about to move out, and 
he's revealed them. He's revealed what he's got now, and that's yeah. like a few too many lings to worry about a Reaper. Uh, there's yeah. Some two coming in the back. I was kind of confused about the micro there, where he runs them all at him and pulls them all back. Um, I feel like at that point, once he sees them, he knows it's coming, so you might as well just send them across and have whatever is left pick off sure. the Reaper. And he should, get, um, he should get the lift off here. He's got so many more Zerglings in the making. He's going to continue this pressure. The, the bunker's already going down here. His Marine's in a, uh, in a yeah. great position to defend. You really need some Banelings as a morph. He has Banelings morphing, yep. Yeah. As a morph to bust this, so we are going to get a bust. Um, looks like he's going to bust right in the center, and what that should do is hit uh, both supply depots on the left and the right, as long as he... Exp well, maybe. Don't, don't even eat my words. I think... That hits both. There you go. You hit both supply depots. Nice. Yourself and opening on both sides. Now the uh, the barracks is on. There the it fire. is. Yeah. Um, he also, I think, yep. He has the metabolic upgrade already completed. Yep. Absolutely um, necessity when you're when you're pushing in yeah. like this. And it looks like he is thoroughly pushed back as Lumia pulls the workers to repair. He's gonna need to get over here and repair the bunker before it explodes. Or not the bunker, the barracks before it explodes. Yeah. That is a too critical of a building. Um, he is putting back up his wall. And it looks like we have another bust hoping to come in here as he's persistent. Now, this is expensive, and this is putting him behind. If he can't secure yes. this, he's done. Now, we do have a Liberator out that should uh, block off the ramp, uh, add some extra firepower. I think a oh, good... On the back. But I think another decent thing that... Or, uh, yeah. Um, the... Oh, great Widow Mine explosions. Lumio was temporarily uh, supply blocked, though. So I don't know exactly what effect that will have. I, it, he's actually ahead. He's ahead. I mean, the supply block wasn't a mistake. It was, you know, it was the getting destroyed. Pressure, yeah. Now this li yeah. Uh, liberate uh, liberator is going to come in. He's going to drop a liberation zone, uh, either in the natural, or the main. Uh, ooh, on the third that he thinks is there, uh, and he fixes it real quick. Um, you know, you set those things up to, to do their own, so you don't have to. Yeah. You, you, you macro up those commands. Um, an interesting position. It doesn't have anything right now. If the queen spots it, um, there you go. Does so, he have it in the works? Yeah, he's working on an evolution chamber, and he's going to try and do a uh, a drop here with is. the Zerglings into the main too. Lots of Banelings being morphed in. He's, I would say, he's getting desperate. He knows that he can no longer push up the front. Uh, Widow mines and the wall and the Marines, the bunker are going to put a stop to that. But if he can come around the back, oh, excuse my mouse, yeah. come around the back, uh, double dropper lords. He's loaded up. He might even try to elevate him, or elevate, elevator them across, um, trying to get a few drops in before his opponent knows what's going on. Yes. Yep. And he's got two right there, ready to pick these boys up. But but boys, and he gets all the he gets all banelings. It looks like. Yep. All banelings. Yeah. Ooh, I even see a drone in the middle of this. So I'm not sure what he wants to do with that. Uh, let's see if he goes for a second a second load. Um, yeah, he did morph one Overlord right there. He is just out of oh. sight, I believe. He is just out of sight. Uh, his opponent can't see what's going on right now. He does not know uh, what his opponent is doing at all. And here come the Banelings. How fast can uh. he react? Is he going to pull this? Actually, not a lot here. He's missing so many. Uh, Ooh. I believe he got seven. Okay, yeah, I thought seven. it was five or seven. Yep. Which isn't... Awful, but I think you'd normally want to try and get more from your Banelings. Good Widowmine connection. That Widowmine's got 10 kills. Uh, and now it's vulnerable to, to come out. And another Widowmine. Six kills. Uh, Athros is having a great time. He says, LOL, oh, GG. GG. And that's our game. It looks like 2-0 for Lumia. Yep. Uh, and I think that's um, two games. We've casted for Lumia in two games. He has absolutely had a fantastic showing. He's he's strong. Makes me not want to play against Terran. No, don't let that do. Don't let that deter him. <laughs> uh, yeah. So we just watched uh, Lumi. Oh, not Jumia. Uh, we just watched Lumia versus Atheros. So we watched um, every combination of players. Now we're going to go back into some of the. Uh, no, not every combination. We have two more two more games left actually. Cool, cool. So run it. Let me make sure I'm getting the right game. So, so Zamputh and Lenny, we've watched. Lumia and Zamputh, we've watched. Lumia and Lenny Gasm, we haven't watched. So we're going to walk right into game one. Let me accept that. Please do.
da, 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 da. So, you know, comment, uh, shout at us, tell us what you'd like to see, uh, tell us how we're screwing this up. We'd love to hear you. Uh, I'm going to click this watch button. Is our first match is on a biogenesis i would love some constructive feedback from any of you. just let me know how to make it better for you so i think the key is you need to go play lots of dragon ball fighters and just <laughs> work on your anti-salt levels oh. um because i know you love, a... <laughs> love that game um, i'm already salty please stop <laughs> spotting in the bottom right hand corner the purple terran um absolutely dominating his league so far uh, it's Lenigasm. No, Lumia. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me eat that. Let me take those words back. It's Lumia. All right. And spawning in the top left-hand corner in the dark sky blue, Lenigasm voted class of 2013 most likely to be pro Zerg. Mm. Most cutest Zerg. <laughs> uh, My... <laughs> Uh oh! Somebody says my constructive feedback. Drunk stream. It seems like they had knowledge of my previous streams. Hmm. I mean, I would love it. It's it's Tuesday though, and I, yeah, am, maybe... and, I and I am drinking, so I don't have a defense. Um, but we do you have. have a I have a I have a problem. Um, looks like Leningasm is actually rushing. So this looks yeah. like been a twelve, twelve, twelve. Uh, he's about to finish up uh, the spawning pool. It's going to be uh, SCV scouted, maybe? Yep, SCV. Which is really fortunate, uh, really fortunate here for Lumia, although he's stopping. Oh, no, here he goes. Um, he sees there's no natural. He's coming in here to confirm. He sees that there is a spawning pool. And he oh. should either go home or do this lovely dance around the... Uh... Oh, there he goes. Get him. Get him, drone. Get him, lady guys. I'm get him. Uh, <laughs> but it was scouted, and that's fortunate. Uh, the wall is up. He's making the Reaper. He... First couple sets of lings are coming out. Ooh, can the lings turn around and pick off that SVC? That'd be the real win. Mm, I love, I love how you say SVC. S V. Oh, it's off. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not the right one. S C V. Ha ha. Um, his response to this is immediately put down another command center. Okay. No. I pronounced it wrong, and we all laughed. We did. Um, but he, I guess he's put the command center on the high ground, so that is a uh, semi-appropriate response. He's still going to dance around this SCV a bit. Uh, the Reaper's going to have some fun. He can continue to pounce around on these lings all day, as long as they're off creep. He's got a couple workers here doing the repair. And instead of making Marines, he's opted for putting excuse me, uh, putting on the reactor, which is going to allow him to make two Marines at a time. Um, I, I have a Bane Ling Nest coming down just now, so we may see a bust. It's been detected, so he's going to start right. some units. Um, it just seems like Lumia has to weather the storm, and he'll be in a good position. There goes the bunker. Give him a little extra range on this. Ooh, I love this. He's putting down a hatchery. He realizes he has extra minerals and nothing to do with them. That's going to give him extra larva Ooh, to spawn like into it. this fight. Um, let's see how long before it's discovered. Let's know where the target's going to look. Yeah. And given where he placed it, too, they'll be there quicker, which is nice. Especially for a rush. Nope, absolutely good point. Perfect point. Um, so we have coming down another bunker. Uh, Marines are being pushed out two at a time. The first unit out of the factory should be a widow mine, and it should be starting uh, any second now. Yeah. More Marines being pushed out of the barracks. He's opted not to get the the tech lab, which you would usually use for um, usually use for stem, and no more no more. Drones being produced uh, at the top, so he's definitely committing this. This here comes the first six banelings, uh, and that should be enough. Ooh, he's pulled him back. That was an unfortunate no. pull. Just There's enough one for, for one, um, and he's gonna have to go into the bunker and defend this the hard way. Um, we never got any any widow mines, so he's gonna come back here and try to take out this tech lab. He's pulled the workers. Here comes the reaper to try to handle the business. This more uh, more links stream into position. Not necessarily the most effective use, I think, of the um, of the lings, but the, the workers are not working. They need to be pulled back in position. He's too much in panic mode. Um, I think Lumia's kind of got this in the bag just because the pressure's not seeming to continue. Although he's making 14 lings behind this, and and they're starting to come from the second, uh, from the second very close hatchery, which is very clever. I really like that second hatchery. Uh, uh, one baneling being morphed. A single baneling versus... Uh, oh, if he can get here and hold this position, at least for a little bit, 
he won't need any more banelings. Uh, there it goes. <clears throat> and he pulls it back. He's going to have to make some more banelings to keep this going. Um, love the bunker placement, though. Love um, the SCV production staying at two. He's got six more banelings on the way. Um, tech Lab's got some damage on it. He's not started any, any tech. Uh, see if he uses this for Marauders. Um, I think just hindsight is twenty twenty. I think in that first push where he blew up in the base a little bit, yeah. I think he might have been better served to send half of the lings in, save the other half, start morphing the other half into uh, banelings, and then so just get that early harass down with the first half of that front. You don't lose the entire front inside the base, and then by the time the, the restocklings are there to reinforce, you have the Banelings ready to continue the burst. I love these SCVs repairing the Cyclone as he, he works his way through. Oh, and he gets the Baneling. Um, so so what you're saying is he should have held back some of his attack? I, I think he could have staggered it better to keep, to, to have seeming like he was going to apply a lot more pressure than he really was, and then have the Banelings ready to come back in and fully burst, if that makes sense. Okay. No, kind of like a stutter step, now, almost. What he is doing behind this, he's not even fully committing anymore. I see him making some drones, but he's not even fully committing to drones. Um, he's kind of being, uh, Lenny Gasm is being a little wishy-washy here. Um, not sure what he wants to do. They even have a couple um, a couple workers here in the second base that he's made that aren't Aren't even mine. Doing anything? Yeah, yep. there we go. There, no, they there got they're gone. Um, so I think. Maybe sorry, keeping, go ahead. No, I say maybe he's trying to keep his opponent in his base while he macros up. Maybe. But any, I think, any moment now they get to push out. Go ahead. Yeah. I think uh, building a queen at the second base would also be super, super helpful because I think I think it'd be I think it's in his best interest to to uh, try and get that creep spread because he is so close. Sure. You give away the fact that you are that close, but. I think it's gonna. It would help give your lings such an advantage at that point well, too he, that you might be able he to. He knows now, and he's got this banshee here. Um, oh, as it yeah. turns out, um, he has nothing that shoots up. <laughs> yep. This banshee shoots down and flies. Uh, there's the banding bus in the front. Takes out another supply depot. Um, but 24 workers here, more than enough yeah. to respond to what's going on. Um, even able to move out. Uh, I'd be almost confident enough to take the second base now, and I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a GG soon, even though it looks. I like... wouldn't be either. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Bye. I'm uh, doing a rotation here, looking to pull out some tanks. Uh, I assume some tanks. I, I just think, overlord. at this point, either I mean, Lenny Gazin just kind of fall back and lick his wounds, so to speak. Maybe start a third somewhere and a possible. A possible second second if that other one is going to go down. Mm, a second second. A second second. I like a second second. Like a third? Uh, no, we call them second seconds. It makes me feel less conscious about how much I eat. Okay. All right. All right. I got you. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm having second seconds. GG. <laughs> G G uh, all right. That'll take us into game two. Game two for Lenny Gasm versus uh, Lumia. This one's going to be on Catalyst LE. Um, predictions. What are, your, what are your predictions as I load this up? Uh, I don't think any Zerg rush is going to happen. <laughs> I don't think... I don't know. I feel like Lumia, honestly, might do the uh, the Marine rush again. Um, True. New opponent. All right. He could pull this off. Yeah. You know, like, I feel like you're one up. Like, why not try cheese, right? Why, why not cheese? You're one up. Throw some Gouda. Throw some Gouda, he said. I like it. Oh, not that one. Well, uh, we're in the map. We're in Catalyst. And in the top left-hand corner, representing all in, hoping to close this out with one more win, going 2-0 uh, and moving on, it is Lumia. Uh, spawning in the bottom right-hand corner in the blue is the bug catcher from Route 12. You know him, you love him, Lenny Gasm. L -l Lenny Gasm. Where's Route 12 at? It's in Pokemon, like he's a bug catcher because uh, they look like bugs. No, I like it. Yeah. Your jokes go above my head. And yep. I feel ashamed. Um, he said, last game he forgot at SCV because I was finding emotes. Hit. <laughs> what? Is the reply to that. 
That's hit. I love heck. It's like you're laughing, but you don't want to commit too much to the laugh in case maybe it's, <laughs> it's not like, funny. It's like the Netflix subtitle hidden or laughs in hidden. Okay. Uh, laughs in was it like laughs in French or uh, what was or, yeah. one? Oh, is, is it cries in Spanish? Cries or in Spanish. Yeah, something like that. Cries in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, that's right. We have we have some crazy emotes. You can even buy emotes. That sounds like it's for rich people. <laughs> I may or may not have every piece of content StarCraft has ever made available for for money. Oofta. I I told myself a long ago that if they ever actually started giving me things to buy and spend money on, I would support StarCraft all the way. Ooh, oh, oh. which means I even have that announcer who speaks in Korean and I can't understand him. I was I don't know. Maybe this is just me. But if he's going to run that SVC, like, through your entire worker line, do you maybe take your worker surrounded and kill it real quick? So there's two thoughts on that. So my thought is yes. Hell yeah. Um, the other thought is it's not optimal. My counter thought to it's not optimal is I'm not optimal. <laughs> I'm not meta. <laughs> I'm not meta slave. Um, but we are seeing... Uh, but and I got distracted. But it looked like Hatch Gas Pool. Sorry. Sir. No, you're fine. Um, looks like he sent out the. He's got the Reaper coming out. It took a couple shots. Um, maybe even got hit by its own bomb while I wasn't watching. But he's putting a a reactor. He's been doing this a few games now. Putting a reactor on his first barracks, and he builds another barracks back here, which he's going to put a tech lab on. He's going to do a two one one and try to cancel the Zerg's third. Uh, as I said earlier, is a build popularized by Beyond, which has lived now for more than two years as a standard Terran opener. Uh, moving across the map with a handful of marines and a um, and a win of mine. This was something that I got to see personally on a replay where and, and Beyond versus uh, an old clanmate of mine, Ice, where Ice got stopped by Beyond uh, at least, I think it was like four to six games total. Uh, and what was described on Reddit as the most one-sided match ever. Now we're talking a BlizzCon champion versus some guy I know from a clan. <laughs> um, it was a very brilliant match, and he, he, he devastated him with, like, six Marines. That was it. Oh, wait, no. Jeez. 12 Marines, 12 Marines. Um, two Widow Mines. See chats harping on my SVCs. You you do it, man. You do you. If you want to call them SVCs. Um, <laughs> and he's going to sacrifice his Reaper to the Queen of... Well, the Queen. Why do I hear guitar music? Are you playing? Who's somebody playing guitar in your house? No, it's like from the game. What is happening? Um, my music is not very loud. Maybe I should make it louder. Are you hearing like a, like what's it sound like? Can you mimic it with your mouth? And then like plucking. You're like a, like a normal Jack Black. I, you know, I've been told. Actually, no. I get told I look like Jonah Hill way too much, and part of me is like, cool, he's funny, and part of me is like, he is not attractive. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Are they saying you remind them of him because of the way he looks, or you remind them of him because of the way he acts? I think it's because I'm chunky and funny, and it hurts my heart when <laughs> say those things. <laughs> um, we do have a scan. Looks like he's, he's spotting the natural. He sees nothing really impressive. He sees um, Ling Bane. Yeah, uh, Bane Ling. As, um, looks like we're at 14 Lings. Uh, whether or not they're safety Lings or, or aggressive Lings, we'll find out. But there's a good wall up here of, of yeah, he's got supply the wall. depots. Um, and actually well-timed. He's not It's not an excessive amount of, of walls. He's going to put out this, looks like he's going to put this Widow Mine out. Oh, he's going to put it out right there on the top of the ramp to get things coming through the ramp uh, if there is a sort of push. Um, we're going to see in a few minutes if Lenny attends this to be a, a macro build. As he, he's putting out a couple more workers, but he's still focusing on some banes and, and having something at least to defend. Um, mm -hmm. But here comes the here comes the Medivax coming up to the third base. Uh, the right third base this time. Yeah, he also has a Liberator on the way, and I don't I don't think Lenny, or Lumi, or nope, sorry, yeah, I was right. Lenny, I don't think he has anything to deal with air yet, does he? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, structure. So if these lings were brought in just for this uh, medevac push, I, I think it was a good, good number of units. We do have some more links coming out. 
and he was doing this annoying like jump back and forth to the top. He could just pick these back up and go right back to the third. He does not have to stem or, or kill these. Um, but he hopes to get this queen. Oh! oh. And not now good. there are three. <laughs> uh, which you know, it's then... enough to, to like poke. Yeah. No, uh, there's uh, one more queen. Three marines, a queen. Three marines and two medivacs are enough for a queen. Oh, uh, and here's the liberator just like coming in. Yep, these marines seem to kind of move and get into that position. Um, but you know, everything else he's doing on top of this, while well, he's 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 holding onto this, he's he's making, uh, he's with combat shields. He's starting a third. He's getting two more racks up. Uh, there are tanks on the way and in position, uh, and he's kind of looks like he's done this dance, except for this liberator, which he's moved the queen around to handle. Yeah. A couple queens here, getting some decent creeps spread between bases. Uh, he's starting to move up to what would be the fourth, and before long, I expect him to start aggressively pushing his creep out. Um, some good saturation. Another two evo double ev evolution chamber here as he wants to start his upgrades. Um, on the other end, actually, wait, nope. Okay, so no, no. Uh, brain fart. Terran tech lab <laughs> upgrade buildings uh, on the other side. Um, there goes. Uh, there goes the infestation pit so he can move up the hive uh, when he feels the time, if he's going in festers or just upgrades. And there goes the liberator, which survived and maneuvered around. Yeah. Where? Who, who do you think is winning this game? Well, uh, right now, I'm looking at the APM, and Lenny Gasm is 7 ahead. Ooh, 9 ahead now on that average APM. So, you know, it's anybody's game at this point. Although... <laughs> In all actuality, I think I think uh, the Terran is in a really good place. I think in terms of tech, I think he's kind of farther ahead. Sure. I think the upgrades that Zer uh, the Zerg is going for, I'm not sure necessarily like what you need at this point in the game, uh, the melee attacks and stuff, because there's just so much air support at this point. I th think you probably want to go with more. Sure. Uh, so, something to answer the air, so you're not trying to win a losing ground battle while you have nothing to combat the air. So it does look like he's going to secure... Ooh, too bad for these investors. They got caught spawning in the wrong base here. Uh, looks like he's going to clean up both yeah. of them. He's got the rocks down, so he's got some time. Those tanks might be in danger. I'd love to see them picked up and rescued. Um, nope. Oh, you got left behind. Yeah. Bangling. Tanks while you had the uh, the regular the zerglings there. Well, looks like uh, he's trying to decide what he wants to do with these these medevacs. He's not going to drop on the high ground. Uh, he's going to pull back and pause. The zerg is behind a base, and that's going to hurt them uh, in the long run. They are low on workers. Their capability to produce their army, uh, you know, substantially lower. And they're going to drop on the low ground. Use the high ground for vision. Uh, fantastic position for them. A couple free kills, uh, and then they're going to continue to play. While well, behind this. Uh, Lumia is continuing to build forces at home. Ooh, a uh, large number of barracks. Looks like he's he's moving into his heavy commitment uh, of ground units, heavy commitment of marines. He's got a third base going. There should be a, uh, I would say, a worker, a light worker transfer soon. Um, but still, no, I'm, I'm not missing it, right? I'm looking around. There's still no upgrades. I saw a spire going up. A great creep spread. Uh, where's that spire? Let's take a look. Uh, trying to find it. Yep, there's a spire. Gives him something to handle with those medevacs. Maybe he uses corruptors. A um, little bit, little bit here. Small mistake here from Lenny. Uh, some workers he could move to the other gas. Five out of three oversaturated there. But he is moving around here for a potential counterattack. The third is not in location, and this wall is going to be a really uh, difficult thing to bust through with those units. Fantastic widow mine landing, and these marines are going to clean up these these lings, and they're going to run away. What exactly do these infestors do? And yeah, infestors. So infestors are kind of your spell casting units. Okay. Um, they can do something called fungal growth, which is an AOE poison. Um, they can walk into marines and die, like we just saw um, right there. <laughs> uh, they actually can take control of a unit as well. They can. Interesting. Um, so if you have like a, a let's say a Thor, really nice unit, your infestors can take control of them and cause them to attack their own people. Um, but they also again walk into marines and die real easy. Um, Ooh, he has a Viper out. Vipers are good. They're another spellcasting unit. They, uh, Viper. An AoE and... dot, if you will. They can cast an AOE, a, pl a cloud of, of infestation. I forget the name of it. Um, a cloud of poison, essentially. 
as the Zerg moves forward to continue a counterattack. Ooh, and they're going to come use, around. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Marauder. Uh, Banelings need these connections. If they can get these oh. connections, he picks up and sends them home, but the Corruptors oh. have eyes on the Medivacs. Oh, by yeah. moving around. Uh, Banelings are going to get the connections they want over there, but the Zerg is out of army yeah. and needs to run away. I I don't know. What do you think? I think GG comes through soon. I don't I don't see what uh, the Zerg can do in this situation. He's gonna gonna lose the third. Um, you know, in, know. in the end, if you look at the army supply, it's one thirty-seven to sixty-three. Um, the army supply, sorry, the regular supply is sixty to one thirty-eight. The, the army supply is almost is more than triple. Uh, yeah. This is this is macro, so you don't have to play better than your opponent. Although Lumia also has, you just have to make more units, and the right. more the more you can get away with, the more economy you can get away with. Um, the bigger your army is going to be, and the bigger your army is in your opponent. So we have small mistakes like this from Lenny, uh, where he still have five and three on gas. That's two units not gas somewhere else, and there goes the GG. Right, there's GG. Yep. Uh, and Lumia has absolutely dominated, dominated yeah. his group. So he's played pretty cleanly. Uh, who? Somebody took a game off him though, correct? Um. Ah, I'd have to remember. I think it was. Uh, it might have been Shazam Poof. I thought Shazam did. Yeah, it was a two-one. Um, if I go back to Lumia versus Shazam, yeah, there were three games. Um, but every other game that Lumia has played, and we've watched, uh, all of them have been two O's. Yeah. Uh, so actually, let me write this down. Um, so this was a two-one. Oh, I can't type numbers. I have hotkeys tied in my numpad, so let me not do that. Uh, all right, so let me take a look. We've we've done five games. There are six now. The secret is finding out which one I haven't done. Which one of these? <laughs> uh, so, all right, we just did Lumia and Lenny. Yeah. Atheros and Shazam was. Um, we've done. Have we done that? We've done all the Shazam games. I, well, I just wrote that wrong. That was Lumia and Lenny. Um, so, Atheros and Shazam wasn't done. So let me double check. I was just saying, I don't think we've done that one. Atheros and Lumia was done, and Atheros and Lenny is what we just did. So we have one more Shazam Poof game to go. Um, let me make sure I'm going to look at these in the right order because they they have uh, minutes by them. Uh, yeah, the first game is going to be on Catalyst. And this Perfect. is Shazam Poof and Atheros, and I have cast a lot of ZVZs today. You have watched you have watched and cast with me a lot of ZVZs today. What do you hope to see from these people? Honestly, I would love to just see uh, who can execute a Zerg rush better. I think that would be mildly interesting. Hey guys, the Strix is here. Uh, uh, uh. Hello, Strix. Welcome, Strix. You missed Shazam? Shaz XM? Is that like Shazam's um, satellite radio station? Okay. Crickets. I don't know. Crickets. You're like the one guy here, and I have nobody else to laugh at my jokes but you. Um, we're going to go right into this game. I'm going to click this I, If that's what you need from me, I would suggest maybe investing in a... Uh, crap, what are those called? Where you press the button and like a laugh track goes? A laugh track? Oh, a laugh track. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll invest in a laugh track for my absolutely right. low budget. Uh, you got bottom right. You got bottom right. Oh, I do. Yeah. All right. Spotting in the top left-hand corner, my man in the green, the Kelly green, Shazam. No. Oh, no, you stole him. I. Uh, starting in the bottom right, in the purple. <laughs> All in, Athreos. <laughs> I thought you were going to He's no Shazam poof, but you love him anyways. Um, there's no bias here. No, there isn't. Um, but no, Asteros, Shazam Poof, we have two Zerg. Um, they they both lost to Lumia. We know that. Um, mm -hmm. We know Shazam has taught you personally the 17 hatch, 17 gas, 17 pool, which it looks like he's yep. using. Um, yep. we have your builds. I think eighth, yeah, they're doing the same thing. Eighth, A3O is starting that second hatchery right now. Uh, it doesn't have gas up yet, but... I imagine, yeah, given where the two drones are being sent, they will become gas and a pool, respectively. Now, this is interesting timing, because they do about the same time. Um, so not they're not putting their gas down. At the moment, they have the minerals available. 
uh, which is something yeah. I naturally do. So I, I'm, I'm assuming I'm doing it wrong and I'm missing out on a couple extra minerals. Uh, so the idea here is you put the gas down so that you have a hundred gas as fast as possible, but not too soon. Like you want to, you want to start speed as soon as it's available, but you don't want to have a hundred gas before speed is available. Right, because any gas you have before speed's available is minerals you don't have to do with the other things you need to do in life, um, which is the theory here. But since we're seeing this mirror builds by these higher level, higher level players than me, I only have to assume that their timing is about right. Right. Um, we do have uh, about to get in here and see both players about to get in here and see that there is a natural. So they're going to know kind of where their opponents are going. They know they're not being cheesed. There was no drone scout, so they're always taking that risk because Zerg, Zerg can push Lings over really quickly. Yep. In fact, as you see now, he now oh. he knows there's a natural. There yes. could be Lings in his base already. Yeah. And Lenny is... No, sorry. Ethrios is hiding his Lings in the back of his natural. Oh, is he now? Okay. Yep. And he's starting so. up. A banling nest, that's normal. But I mean, yeah. you're hiding lings, you're hiding two more lings than are normal. Oh, sorry, uh, four more lings than are normal. Five, six. Yeah. He's going pretty heavy ling. Yep, he is. Every ling is. Ah, uh, yep. But it... And Shazam sending four lings over now to harass the second, perhaps? And Aetheros responding with two, then four, and then a lot more. There he goes. So, so Shazam now has that information. So if you start looking at the production tab and you start keeping an eye on that, what we're looking for is do any of them transition to workers? But they are both fully committed right now to... Yeah. Shazam has the Banelings coming out now and Lenny, or sorry, Aethros should have those coming out soon as his Baneling building just finished. Yep, there he goes. Yeah, three coming out. See how he did in that line. That keeps him... Um, I, I forget what it was. Uh... You want them to intersect one at a time, rather Ooh. than multiple at once. That was a uh, that was a connection. I thought it was a good good connection for Aethrus though, because oh, he's oh 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 one. Bang That's bang. a bad connection. I, I felt good on that one. On the second one, on the I thought one, on the first I, one. On the first one, that was a decent yeah. one. That was decent. You had to keep your your zerglings on hold, commander. They do things like that, like run into a handful of banelings. Now this is gonna be interesting. We do have three banelings here, and this is that baneling dance that we're talking about. So he got he got those banelings to go on a minimal number of links, and this is kind of this is ZVZ dance that I just I don't play. I make roaches. Yeah, you heard it here. Uncommon, don't play that. I don't play I don't play ling bane. I make roaches, <laughs> and I, you know what? Most of the time I just lose, and I am one hundred percent okay with that. Ooh. Oh, there he goes. That's, That's pretty good. Yeah. And now he's got the links to back it up. Okay. Can they? Athros is adding a lot of pressure oh. here. That is, that's a good surround of the queen. He's sending the banelings up here. Uh, hopefully, to get some connections with some drones. It takes two banelings to, to to kill a drone, and he busts Ooh. a little early and splits some. Yeah. Don't oh. you hit? Ooh, get that hatch! Get that hatch! There it is. Nice. Right, it looks like Athros has got good damage. He's getting a little bit of, Ooh, of pressure oh. here. Still has a uh, sounding number oh. of links, keeping pressure on. Uh, I think I think you could have. Oh, oh I missed it. A little harder there. Very, very tiny counter push here. Um, four links. It's yeah, gonna actually think... force an answer, if not a small one. Oh, no, there you go. Yeah, there it is. I was gonna say I feel like you could just pull the queen down, send some links. Okay. There you go. She's gonna play this dance here with uh, four links, and we could ignore that for the most part. He's sending links in ahead of the. Or no, here they come. Yeah. Oh, oh, queen, I don't. Queen, queen. Oh, don't let the Did queen you see? Go. He just lost like six banelings for go. nothing. Queen, 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 dead. Did you see, see that on the, on the backside? Uh, on the backside, Aethros lost like six banelings for maybe one bangling and two two lings. Hello, banelings. You are my friend. I hate insects. You hate. You are playing the Zerg, aren't you? I do. I do play the Zerg. I love it. You ever watch Starship Troopers? Nope. There's a scene, and it's all propaganda films, like, early on. And there's one that's like, do your part. And it's a bunch of, like, little children stomping on bugs. Oh, my God. Okay. Like, stomping on spiders or ants. Yeah, yeah. Um, good. These are, that was a good pick-off from the Baneling. Um, there we go. Oh. Short little fight up on top of the ramp as this Baneling tries to... Tries to 
uh, he didn't make any good connections. Although, missed opportunity there for Shazam to hit uh, a handful of lings. Uh, four lings is a lot to face a banling. Yeah. It looks like you wanted to kill it. He is getting a natural up. Now, the natural has been in Atheros' favor for some time. If you look at the army supply, Shazam is significantly behind and been on the defensive foot this entire time. Uh, he needs some good banling connections, but it looks like he's not the one with the banling advantage. Uh, a couple banlings over here from Atheros moving away. And... There's a fight. There's not a fight. Yeah. There was a fight. Oh, there we go. Let's poke Sh at the hatchery. Sh he wants this cancel, and here comes the banelings. I was going to say, Shazam is down in, like, overall banelings, but yeah, he also weird. has the upgrade on the melee that attack. That wasn't a cancel. But that was, yeah. Uh, GG. Now, are you tracking? So, uh, catch hatchery cancel versus getting the hatchery, right? Yeah, what? So, when you, <laughs> when you, when you kill the hatchery... Right. You lose all the minerals you invested. Right. If you can't, if you cancel it, you get I think half back. You get three quarters of them back. Three quarters. Okay. So what happened there is he should have canceled it, but he didn't. And whether or not he was just giving up at that point and threw his hands up and was like, "All right, I lose." Um, Suzanne Poof didn't get the cancel. Um, again, right. probably not a mistake. Probably just him giving up because there was a GG falling right after it. Um, if that was a mistake that caused the GG. That's another story, but he was so far behind that whole fight, I can't imagine that he was holding on with one hatchery. Ha! Right. <sighs> is this it? Is this our last one? Uh, we don't know. Maybe. Oh, oh it could be. It could be. Just, if just Atheros say, look, takes it. Oh, uh, uh, wait. Atheros just won. If Atheros takes it again, he's 2 0. Right. So he's... Shazam's looking to push us to the limit and take a W here. I mean, that's your hope. You have a bias. I I'm, don't have a. Okay. I'm, I'm trying not to have a bias. I, I'm a. I, I, he's a friend. I was saying, like, in terms of watching I'll, more games. I'll give you. I'll give you the man. Go ahead. You give me the man. All right. I should go ahead. I got to prep. Oh, okay. So I, uh, you want the? I'll take the other one. At yeah, the yeah. Bottom yeah. left hand corner. Hoping to close this out and take a 2-0 victory. Continuing on in the group, it is all in. Atheros. Spawning in the top right hand corner in the Kelly Green, it's the American Dream Boat, Shazam Poof. Mm -hmm. mm. On his license, under eye color, it says Dreamy. <laughs> uh, I want that on my license. And we do have, look at, we have a scout. I hope it's a scout. I would love a cheeky thing to happen, but it looks like it's probably just a scout. Oh, yeah. wait, no. It's a scout. No. He's, he's doing a natural. He's putting a natural up. He wants to make nope. sure that nothing crazy is happening, and he's going to spot it. This is exactly why he's coming over here. He sees the spawning pool. He goes back home. He immediately saves up 200 minerals and puts down his own spawning pool. All right. Aetheros has those two uh, coming in. Oh, drone pool. It's a drone pool. What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a drone pool. Oh, he, he got spotted. He gave up. He's he threw in the towel on his original oh, plan. No, 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 no. He's got the plan. He's sending lings and drones across the map. Uh, and he's got a oh, couple. Oh, I missed it. He's got a couple trying to put spine crawlers down. Which, if Shazam pulls an appropriate amount of drones to handle each time, which seems to be three, um, he yeah. continues to get the cancel. But what he isn't doing while he's doing this is harvesting with those six. Um, all right, so he's going to get a couple drones. The lings are moving across the map here. Uh, he really needs to get one more drone because fighting six lings and eight drones is not an easy task. And he's got to pull back with all his workers. Oh, no. He's got to take this fight good. He's not only going to take it good, he's got to take it good enough to handle the lings that are going to follow. And behind this, he's making six mm. more lings. Six lings, okay. Yep, that are going to cross the map to eight. Um, now this is going really well for Shazam. You yeah, I was going to say, I think he's doing there well. Oh, there it is. Yep. <laughs> All right. One, one. Usually, link pulls, uh, not link pulls, uh, drone pulls don't go well. But if properly supported by links, I think he just pulled his he pulled his drones a little too. Uh, you know, I don't know. I would say he pulled them a little too early, but he knew he was spotted, so maybe he was just trying to get an additional advantage. And he never got those spines down, which would have significantly helped. Uh, Shazam responded really appropriately. Definitely. Oh man. Game number three, it's 1-1. One, one. Oh, here it is. Um, if I'm doing my math right, Shazam needs this to get out of the group. Um, and I'm not sure if Atheros can if he wins or not, because Shazam is 1-1. One, one. Atheros lost to... I didn't even write it down. So, <laughs> Game number three. Game number three. You wanted it.
He delivered. I, I would hate for this to be over already. That's what she said. That's what I said. <laughs> Oofta. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> spawning in the bottom right-hand corner, the green oh. Zerg hoping to close us out, and the best of three going for something, something, and we'll find out in a second. Hey, it is Suzanne Poof. Spawning in the top right in the deep purple, it is the American kid, Aethrios, who I don't know whether or not he's actually American. Did he just cancel? He just canceled the gas. So this is what's called a, um, well, so what he's doing is he's at supply cap, right? Right. And so he makes a gas, cancels it. He makes a gas, makes a worker, and then cancels the gas. So he's over his supply limit. It's a, it's a short, extra, it's called the extractor trick. Spicy. Um, whether or not it helps is another question altogether. It's it's something that's often debated, and it's one of those things that you may or may not be able to take advantage of as a lower level player. Um, so it might not be worth your time and effort in APM that you lose because you lose. <laughs> well, you lose Probably one. Not. You, you you lose one fourth of the cost of the extractor, which for a right. zerg is pretty low, but it's still something, and you lose that mining time, and it's only a couple seconds. Right, right. Now some builds are very tight, and some builds. If you want to up, arrive at your opponent's base two seconds earlier, require an extractor trick. But most of us are outside the grass of worrying about that couple seconds. Yeah, That's a lot of words for extractor tricks. <laughs> um, but we do have what looks to be uh, very similar builds here on yep. both ends. They went, uh, you know, hatch gas pool. Mirror match so far. Although I will say Shazam did get his first or excuse me his second down a little bit earlier so that should no maybe he didn't so I thought he did. Strick says extractor trick plus 37 to 42 minutes something like that i have to ask you clarify what do you, what do you mean 37 to 42 minutes what are you what are you referencing there maybe it pays off when you hit the late game and suddenly oh if, just... if i would honestly if an extractor trick paid off at the 37 minute mark that would be nuts. You're like, at 37 minutes, I suddenly have an advantage of army. Oh, minerals, minerals. Oh, minerals, minerals, minerals. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. A minute's like, oh, man. <laughs> it was 37 it's a League of Legends ago game. When, I, when I put this plan into place. <laughs> I have one more infester. It's League of Legends. Oh, no, thank you. No, minerals. Um, so it's <laughs> you got the snow. It's something about 37 to 42 minerals. Um, so uh, from your opinion, then, uh, Shazam Poof and Strix... How difficult is it to make those additional minerals, and can you make your situation worse by trying it? And I'll leave that open to question. Uh, again, he's got his links back here. This seems to be a, a good standard place for him. He's, he's doing Baneling Ness, uh, him, Atheros, uh, holding some links up there. He's got yeah. queens on the ramp. Looks like he's pulling in a spine. He spotted uh, push, but I think this yeah. is a bit of an overreaction. It's way, way too much for a handful of links. It might just poke and leave. Uh, he's continuing to build links. Now, if he plans on defeating it and counterattacking, that's another thing altogether. But a spine uh, says he's pooping his pants. Poop, pants, pants poopers. Um, pants are pooped. <laughs> they are soiled and no longer good. So uh, they say it's never worth it to him, which means, okay, so depending on the level, it may or may not be worth it. I like these four banelings, and behind it, he's Shazam is pushing yeah. out more lings. So it looks like he wants to continue some kind of aggression. He's going to see the spine crawler and kind of watch his decision. The spine crawler is not in range of the hatchery, so he has to respond. And Atheris is still hiding lings, um, which may cause Shazam to overcommit where he wouldn't have otherwise. So many lings here. Oh, let's not miss that fight. As the lings come around, reveal themselves, they come down, and surprise, Ooh. four banelings. Um, but a little bit of this is ZVZ, right? So this is a fight of ZVZ and so the dance, the dance. I like it. I'm teaching teaching language. Oh, whoa, whoa. Two for one, not good. I'm I'm for some reason I'm I'm like clicking bad buttons. Don't let me do that again. Uh, I missed most of the explosion. Uh, there's still a lot of links up there, and there's still a lot of links coming, and there's they decided to settle this on a two base ling in. Uh, each of them have. Well, Shazam's got a four-worker lead, whether or not that pays off in the long run. Um, it is right now the difference between Lings there. You do see he pulled half his Lings off to hold the ramp and try to get a couple kills here. He didn't get any workers from that. No more workers being produced. Um, he's hiding in the other corner, trying to get some good surface area, fighting around this backside, trying to get as many kills, trying to make as much money as he can for this. Here come the Bane Lings. Looks like he was going to try to sacrifice all his Bane Lings for a queen, but there was a great transfuse there by Atheris. Actually, excellent response. 
this is the game that matters, though. I don't know if he's going to give up that quickly. The Banelings are morphing. One was canceled. It looks like the Lings are going to try to take out these Banelings, try to get a couple hits in one, two, three no. out. No Banelings morphed. And I expect a good counterattack here on the other end. Oh, how's that? What's the response? It looks like the response is a couple Banelings. Uh, four Banelings being morphed here, hoping to hold off most of this army. And if played right, it can. But the Lings are splitting up and actually causing Atheris to, to move around the map a little slower than he, he should. Uh, an all-in, a complete push might have actually sealed the deal, but it's given Sazampoof time to respond, and that's what you shouldn't give him at this moment. He was not in the position to do it. Um, <laughs> Shazam says, I remember those Banelings, in reference to the one that kills the Queens, and now I know where they went. Lots <laughs> of Banelings! Oh, that's disgusting! Baneling, 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 yeah! Oh! oh. Great connection on those Banelings. That's a little dangerous running that many Banelings in a line without support of Lings, but we do see the Lings coming up here on the mini-map here for uh, for Atheros. He's hoping to, to do some damage here. And Shazam Poof moves to the ramp and hopes to hold it. Maybe stop a little bit of pressure here as he continues to morph in 14 more Lings. One Queen fighting for a life goes down. Uh, Shazam Poof is in a dire position here. Up here on the other side, we do have some Lings trying to poke at the, the Queens and get some damage on the other side. Uh, maybe stall for some time. More links come down, hoping to to really save this natural. He needs us to stay in the game. The production of Larva uh, cannot go in balance if he's going to stay uh, absolutely in this fight. More links coming in. The Queen coming into support. As they continue to fight over this natural, a little bit of focus fire here. And Atheris pulls out, deciding it's not worth losing those remaining links. Bane links being produced. Fight's happening in the middle. <laughs> There's fights all over. There's so many fights. Zoom in on Banelings. Now, this is when you walk into Banelings and you go, no, I'm not going to fight that. But that is a lot of Banelings. That's a lot of gas. If we look back at the economy, uh, both of them are staying pretty low on gas. It's two on the gas over here, three on the gas for Shazam. A little more Baneling power if Shazam wanted it. Uh, and it looks like he's moving out. Banelings first. Now, it takes um, two Banelings to kill a Baneling. It takes two Banelings to kill a worker. It takes one Baneling to kill a Ling. And that was a fantastic connection. Two Banelings for four Banelings with some extra damage on one. Uh, and looks like there's this kind of trade-off as they march across the map at each other. Um, I, I don't know where to look as there's action going on over here. Uh, it looks like the Banelings have turned around, decided that the fight's going to happen over at Aetheros's base, which might be the wrong call. Um... Get those queens. Maybe not. No, no just run to the yeah, run to the workers. Run to the workers, and if you can get a great connection here, that could end the game. As he splits around, oh! and he splits around the hatch. Oh, oh! One connection, Ooh. and he does. He kills two workers and does damage to a bunch. And Atheros, these banelings are the ones that were across the map that could have done damage down here, um, and actually weren't participating in the fight. So, we're looking down here, another push here by Shazam. Uh, taking a quick look at the supply count, Shazam's got a small supply lead and a good worker lead, especially when you yeah. only have... 16 to 10? Right, only limited number of workers. This game has to end before the bases mine out, or both players have to pull back. Um, when you have a six-worker lead and you only have 19 workers, you're in a very good place. Um, so there we go. Here's some Lings trying to sneak on in here while Banelings are morphing. This is not the fight you necessarily want to take. He doesn't know when these Banelings were morphing, as we can see from our vantage point. Yeah, there they go. There they go. And that's going to push him back. That's going to hold a wall there of Banelings. Um, he's also going to chase it. He's going to chase it. 16 more Lings for Atheros. Uh, again, still 19 to 13 workers. Um, but this was a fight that he could take Ling on Ling, but not a fight he wanted to get into when the uh, Banelings were there. So he can pull back a little bit, let the Lings get ahead, and then run away. This is yeah. a fight he can continue to take, waiting for his op prime opportunity to attack. But he's going to go all the way home, and mm -hmm. Atheris is going to sit back there. Some more... Shazam is temporarily supply block there for a second, too. He was. But, you know, that's good, because that means he's got the units, right? Yep, yep. Hmm. There he goes. There's the fight again. He can take the fight with the Lings, and he's got to run away before the Banelings get connections. Then he sends a couple Lings in to get those explosions. Those Banelings don't want to blow up on one or two. They want the good connections. Looks like they're coming here and get a handful of workers. Decent splits here. Uh, he's actually able to save four workers there with those splits. Uh, he's just got to get them back to work shortly, as it's now Five. 17 to 13 workers. Yeah, he looks like he only took two. He only took two with four Banelings. Nice Every worker here is important, but... That wasn't enough. And there, look at that. Look at that Baneling, Baneling supply. And this is going to be a back and forth game of Banelings. Because um, <laughs> oh, yeah, by the time he gets across the map, he's got more Banelings. He's got more Lings. He's got more to face this. 
All right. Oh, there's one overlord. Talk about supply block. He's going to have to spend another hundred, hundred minerals on something he doesn't want to. And it's it's a big deal. When we're talking about this level of this game, it's a big deal. Now, these lings, these banelings, are going to run into some problems here. Um, there we go. One down, two down. There's the queen. Oh, that might have been a game ending explosion. That was a good connection. Oh, that yep. was gross. GG. <laughs> <laughs> That was so good, and then right there at the end, he just ran into the bailings. Shazamalama ding dong. Po and that's how that's how the bailing crumbles, ladies and gentlemen. That's, that's how the bailing blows. Oh, so let me take a quick look at at the groups, and I can pull up the now. Now that I have it, I can actually pull up the the score. I actually gave it away earlier. Um, there we go. Capture one. Yeah, I made it real small because I accidentally showed everybody. Uh, Lumia 3-0. Only lost one game to Shazam. Uh, Shazam poof 2-1. 5-3 um, on map score. Both of those individuals have moved on to the round of 16. Um, if you were watching earlier, um, you, if you're watching the stream uh, one or two days ago, you can see that we that the groups were drawn and they're probably playing their games right now. But this is Group B. And I hope to be the one that cast group C no later than uh, I want to say Thursday oh no mm. I'll see who beats me to it um, Friday maybe uh, we'll see what's going on with the rest of my schedule but uh, stay tuned like subscribe comment I got a cheer today guys five cheers um, like subscribe to stay tuned I'll announce it all over all in announcements and, and I'll be hanging out in chat and um, yeah you'll see group See next. That's what I plan to do. We'll just run through the entire invitational, and I really, truly appreciate you guys hanging out with me and Goner here today. Goner, do you have anything to say, to everybody? Uh, thanks everybody for watching the stream. Thanks for coming and hanging out, and uh, thanks for putting up with me, just kind of mumbling my way through. Uh, I'm your your bronze your bronze host as it is. Uh, you know, just trying to learn the game and uh, appreciate. Everybody being so welcoming, and uh, I'm just having a good time here. So thank you all for having me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, peace out. And this was uh, it's on YouTube. This will be the end of it. So for the YouTube people watching, like, subscribe, comment, tell me how bad I am, tell me how I can improve, tell Goner that uh, he's a piece of human garbage. Whatever you need to do to make yourself feel good. I love comments. I love reading them. I'll see you all later this week. Go play some StarCraft.